Covering Mesa tonight, where a community mourning the loss of an Alzheimer's patient who died 10 days after she wandered away from a memory care facility. And tonight, there's also outrage. How did this 70 year old get out of a locked gate at 2 a.m. barefoot in the dead of summer? As ABC 15's Angie Cayley found out, her family has their own theory. It's all new at 6. Now we went into Copper Village to ask them their response to this tragic incident, and they had very little to say to us, only that their hearts are with Mary's family. Now Mary's family had a lot to say. In fact, they're downright upset. They've heard so little from the facility. Mary O'Sullivan Schultz was 70. She was a wanderer. She loved to walk even before Alzheimer's robbed her of her memory. She escaped the grounds from Copper Village in Mesa two weeks ago. Her body found Saturday just a half mile away. Mary's son Dan Schultz says he believes surveillance video from the facility will show them what went wrong. Unfortunately, they weren't willing to share that with us. They have shared it uh, with Mesa police. But it is our understanding that that video shows um, an employee or contractor of the facility allowing her to leave. Dan says someone had to have punched in the code and opened the gate for her. When Copper Village didn't respond to our emails, we went there. Hi. Angie Kay with Maybe C15. Hi. Here to talk about Mary Schultz. No. It was Thursday, June 28th. She was barefoot, no glasses, no dentures, no meds, no escort. Can you say what went wrong? I mean, you had no. a. She's, I can't. I mean, you got someone who's paying thousands of dollars to stay here, 24 hour surveillance. I, I appreciate you being here, but thank you. Can you please leave? We, I've told you what I can. The job is done, she'd be alive and somebody didn't do their job. Dan says she was last seen at 2 a.m. Police were called at 3.30 a.m. He was called at around 5 a.m. He believes precious minutes were lost. We entrusted her to the care of a facility that was supposed to look after her. And unfortunately, she was allowed to wander away and was found 10 days later face down in a field. Now, when asked about legal action, Dan Schultz said they have not yet retained an attorney, but they haven't ruled it out. In Mesa, Angie Cayley, ABC 15, Arizona.